When defining your market segments, you want to make sure you don't define segments that are too narrow. Ask yourself, is my offering really different from one segment to another? It can be different by price or by features. And if you realize that you offer the same to two different segments, maybe you should define them as one bigger segment. For startups, it's crucial to measure not only the quantity of the potential segment, but its quality. A quality segment will help you engage users quickly, learn from them, and iterate on your product. Make sure you choose a segment that is accessible for you, your university, your group of friends, or your neighborhood. If relevant, choose a segment with the shortest sales cycle, so you don't wait too long between the time your customer is exposed to the product until you can show value. You can do that by choosing the segment that will consume a more simple product, or the segment that will be willing to pay maybe less, but buy your product more quickly. If you have a B2B product, you better start with the smaller companies as your customers and reach out directly to the decision maker rather than going through a lengthy process of a big company. In addition, try to find a segment that is less crowded so you have no or few competitors. For example, the messaging company Slack found great opportunity in their enterprise segment with very little competition. They realized their value was to focus specifically on tech teams and small companies and startups that to work quickly and needed to communicate quickly with tech features integrated in their product. Had they wanted to focus on consumers rather than enterprise, they would have been faced with a great deal of good competition like WhatsApp and WeChat.